We are about to bridle up our three-year-old colt. This is Dixie. He is a registered Tennessee walker. Has he grown from 15-1 yet, Kristen? Mm, I think he's still right around 15-1. Right around but we do believe he is still growing. He's probably going to top out around 15-2, 15-3, somewhere in there. We're about to do his full video. You're going to love this guy. He's gentle. He's sweet. In your pocket. Very, very loving. He gives great kisses, by the way. He's got that white, white mane and tail. He is lighter in the summertime. <clears throat> More of a Palomino look. A lot like Mom's Skywatch horse that she had. So we're going to take him outside and let Krista get up on him and let you see how he goes. All right, here we are about to do the full video on Dixie Tornado. This is our beautiful Sorrel with white mane and tail. He's even got some silver in his mane and tail. He is very sweet, very, very loving, very personable. Like I said, he gives very good kisses. Kristen's going to step him up there. You can also uh, get on him from the ground. It doesn't really matter. He doesn't care. This is just... We always make sure they know how to do this because if you're like me, I'm not going to get on on the ground unless it's absolutely mandatory. All right, I'm going to let her walk him off and head over toward the obstacle course. And we'll catch up with her and get some more video of him. You're going to love this guy. The te technical difficulties I'll throw in. We just realized that there's a big stick in his tail and a couple of cuckaburs, so we're going to get those out. He was about to head into the obstacle course, but... This is, this is what you don't see in the videos. Although we thought we were readies and we weren't quite readies. <laughs> All right, technical difficulties are over and now we are going to see Dixie Tornado on the obstacle course. She said she just about got into where he's a put a quarter in him horse. I'm always still hesitant to say complete beginner just because he is three. But if you're a confident beginner, I don't think you'd have any trouble with him. So earlier today, Kristen was riding him, just taking him through the farm one time just to make sure he was ready for video. And um, he had a quail in between his legs. And he just stood there looking at it like, what in the world is that? So I think we've about got all the spook out of him. So just going to back him up just a little bit, and we're going to take him to the pavement so you can hear the pretty music. Very nice. Here comes Dixie Tornado walking, just so you can see what his walk is like. downhill especially. Show off that dog walk if they've got one. You don't want anybody to buy a horse that's going to hurt them. Mine's got a swingy walk and it would hurt my husband's lower back. Doesn't bother me a bit. And he's got a lot of a lot of show in that butt going back and forth like he's a pretty girl. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get him gating coming up the other way. He doesn't get in any big hurry to do anything. That's his gait. I'm not saying to keep up with other horses. You couldn't get a little more out of him, but this is not going to be your 10 mile per hour horse. This is your slow and easy trail horse. Broke and gentle. That's how we're selling him. We're not selling him anything with speed. Here we are following Dixie Tornado as we're heading down to the first creek. We're also in the big side of the side. And he just up and jumped down. I guess he wants to walk it. You can see how rattled he gets. Mom didn't use the big side by side. She thought it scared him. So she just used the uh, golf 
go into the first creek. Oh, there goes Benny. Right in front of his path. A little slick today. Let's see his back feet there. Oh, Benny has no fear of anything. He's just a happy dog. Earlier they said, there's Benny. I wonder what he's doing. I said, anything a happy dog does. He's never known to have a bad day. Colts like this, I love because when you get them, the only thing I hear from you is thank you, thank you. He's amazing, thank you. Because this guy is amazing now and he's only going to get better. As he gets to know you and as he gets to know where you ride, he's just going to get better and better. go with Dixie Tornado into the second creek. Again, we do this creek to show agility. There's nothing solid there for them to put their feet on. All those rocks will move. Nothing solid. They're all different shapes with points and so they've got to be able to stand up on them. Last thing you need is a horse going down on you. And there is Mr. Dixie Tornado. What you doing, buddy? What's he doing, buddy? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Another thing you might have to do with him is you might have to retighten your saddle every once in a while because he's still built like a baby and he twists a little bit when he goes and so therefore it might make the saddle move some. So um, that's something you might have to do every once in a while. So when you do stop, just check your saddle. He says, I know I'm a baby. His worst, worst complaint I will tell you about him is when you do stop, he wants to take a few steps, doesn't do anything stupid. It's just the baby and him being impatient. Kristen's uh, checking her saddle, so we'll get a little bit more of him when we get back to the farm. I think he's probably just that slow because he's going away from the barn. He'd probably be a whole different animal going back to it. Well, here he is with a side by side right behind him going back to the barn. <laughs> so you can see there's just not a lot of difference. Slow and steady wins the race with him every single time. You could work with him and you could get some more speed out of him. Again, you're going to need some spurs to do that, but you could. Um, I'm definitely not going to tell you he's not going to go any faster. We're not going to push him to go any faster. I'd add a canter to him probably at about H4 or get somebody that can cue him uh, straight from a dead stop into a canter or a walk into a canter. Pack bypass that gate in general if you're going to do it this early in his age. Otherwise, I'd wait till about 4 or 5 and I'd add a canter to him if you want a little more speed. He is dog broke and approved. Gotta have some antics on a good gentle one. Good boy. 
little raining and turning work that Kristen has done with Dixie Tornado. Little leg, a little pivoting. It's not perfect, but it's a nice start for you, learning some leg work. That inner leg, the outside rein, he is really starting to get it and starting to pivot with the back feet as well. feet we're gonna load and unload out in the trailer one more time with feeling Look how pretty he looks going and that's with his winter coat huh? he is in near as pretty right now as when he came just because he's so fuzzy he still looks like a million bucks traveling just think when he completely fills out and gets all muscled up quits growing just be stunning. All right, we are going to do feet. Show you how easy he is for your farrier. We have had him shod. Stephen had absolutely no issues with him whatsoever. Really good black feet all the way around. <laughs> Got no cracks. No bad spots in them anywhere. Looks like they're just dirty. And he palomina's out almost to four white boots that are perfectly matching. This sure is a pretty boy. All right, we're going to load him in and out of the trailer. Dixie Tornado loading and unloading out of the trailer. <laughs> yeah. That is all 15-1 of Mr. Dixie Tornado. Such a good boy.